Hi Aries, welcome to your love reading for mid-June 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. It is general, so it's not going to be for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or you can get a personal reading and the roles can be reversed, all right, because it is a general reading. Also, if you like this doll that I have here on the desk, you can find the link to the Etsy shop um, in the description box. It's Arsenal and Stardust. And she makes a whole bunch of little things. They're all handmade, made with a lot of love. Um, you should check it out. I think it's, <laughs> it's amazing <laughs> what this girl does. All right, so let's see. Aries, what is going on with you? Mid-June. All right, we have signs and we have compromise. Okay, so somebody is receiving a lot of signs from the universe, um, getting just a lot of indications, pointing in a certain direction. And this direction does involve making some kind of compromise. Um, likely in order to move in a certain direction, in order to gain something, something else has to be compromised. All right, so could be you, could be someone else. Let's see. It's like, you know, there are some situations where everything cannot be exactly as we would want it, right? You can't always have your cake and eat it too. And this is what somebody is beginning to realize or beginning to understand from the signs that they are getting. So for you, we have ooh, the Ten of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so there's a connection here that you feel very, very strongly about. There is a particular person, I feel it's a particular person, that you feel could fulfill you, that you feel could bring you happiness, but at the... At this point in time, you're feeling alone. You're feeling separated from that, although you're still wishing to have a new type of a dynamic with this person, like a new path. So it could be that you, you are thinking about ways to manifest this possibly, or you're just willing to, or understanding that, you know, the path has to start from the beginning. It has to start from scratch on a practical level, it cannot work the way things are right now. Uh, let's see for them, we have the Ace of Cups, the Star, and the Two of Cups. What is going on in this reading? There's so much love. The emotions are so strong on both sides, all right? So this person feels the same way about you. There's a lot of love here, and I feel like this love is very, very pure, all right? With the Ace of Cups, the Star, and the Two of Cups, this is very pure, this is um, genuine. So this person definitely feels the same way about you and wishes to have this connection with you. But I feel like there might be something that this person is also healing, all right? Because obviously something is not working out and I feel like that's more on a practical level rather than an emotional level, okay? The way it's coming through. So let's see for the near future or what is coming up. We have the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the King of Swords. And a message for you here is the Three of Pentacles. All right, let me just make sure that these are all in the camera view. All right, so there's a lot of action coming up here. I feel like there is action on both on both sides here, both from you as well as from the other person. You're both taking some action and you're both doing this with a lot of determinism. Possibly also making a decision here. Let's see, let's clarify.
And the Three of Pentacles is all about teamwork. So it kind of fits in with that compromise. Um, there might be something that the both of you have to compromise on until things are in a state where they can actually resolve. So let's see, let me clarify the Five of Pentacles for you. And again, roles can be reversed, although so far they seem, <laughs> your energy and this other person's energy seems to be pretty similar. All right, so clarifying the Five of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Page of Swords. Okay, so a lot of swords. So this is a lot of possibly overthinking. Um, you're, you're feeling like you're at a loss right now. You're definitely feeling a lot of pain concerning the loss of this connection to the point where I do feel like this is pushing you forward in some way. It's making you want to take action, but at the same time, because you have the Ace of Swords and then you have the Page of Swords. So it's like there's this drive to take action, but at the same time, I feel like that action is a little bit small at the moment. Um, and it could be because you're feeling so much pain that you're letting the pain take over to the point where it might hold you back a little bit. And I feel like there's, because there's so much overthinking and there could be a little too much of a focus on what is lost. So I feel like the message here is to, you know, just allow yourself to process this pain, allow yourself to process this pain and then try to find your authenticity, try to find what really stands true to you in order to help you move forward. Don't just focus on the negatives. Let me see the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So for the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Wands showing up again, the Two of Wands and the Three of Wands. Okay, so again, it's a little bit of a contradiction here because there's, there's this drive for action. So I do see the action, okay? There is a drive for action, um, physical action, towards some direction in order to change something in your material world or in the physical. But then there's something that just makes you procrastinate or it makes you stall. So I don't know what it is that you're trying to move towards. Like I don't necessarily feel that it is towards this person. It could be something um, for your own self. Could be towards this person. Okay, you would know. But what I do see is that there is a sense of stalling. There's a sense of waiting. And I do feel like it is related to overthinking and to over dramatizing possibly some of this situation. And I, I, and I'm not saying to disregard your pain and I'm not trying to minimize any pain that you might be feeling. No, the pain is real. The pain is there. All right. What you feel is what you feel. I'm just saying that sometimes if we can think about a potential pain and that's when we can over dramatize it and think that it's going to feel worse than what it actually does because with that three of wands I feel like there's a lot of um, scenarios that you might be thinking about concerning the future and then that keeps you from moving forward and I feel like if you were to move forward you're gonna have this new path open up to you and like I said you know I feel like if this is you here up here um, I feel like you, you've been getting signs to move forward, all right? And sometimes, yeah, it does require some kind of a compromise, but I feel like it will be worth it in the end for whatever this is. All right, let's see. Let's see what's going on with them. Let me clarify. Let's clarify the start.
five of cups and the sun. Okay, interesting. So it's interesting that also that we're getting the five of cups um, in the same position almost as the five of pentacles for you, which are similar energies. So yeah, this person is feeling very hopeful for this, but, but they're also a bit pessimistic. Um, This person is feeling like they could have everything with you. They're feeling like you could make it work, that there could be so much happiness here. But for some reason, they're, they're in a similar energy as yours, but in a different, in a different way. It's like they, they're feeling this loss as well. And it's this loss that is making them feel pessimistic about about the situation and as to whether you can ultimately have this happiness. And I do also get the sense that this person is healing something from their past. Which will actually help them in some way. But there's definitely something here that they've been holding on to, maybe even on a subconscious level, that needs to be healed. And they're in the process of doing that and it is somehow related to the connection with you. So it could be that the connection with you has triggered a wound in them from their past. And now it has come up to the surface. They have become aware of that wound and so they are now able to, to heal that through this connection with you regardless of whether you are together or not at the moment. So it's very, it's very interesting. Um, let me see the Two of Cups if Mannix does not ruin the spread here. Here, come sit here. Okay, so Two of Cups. Yeah, he's just gonna sit right on them. There he goes. <laughs> All right, so clarifying the Two of Cups, we have the Five of Wands and Judgment. Yeah, so definitely something is coming up to the surface here for this person. Um, I feel like whatever, whatever tension may have been created recently between the two of you, this is coming up to the surface. Um, they're feeling a lot of love still. They still want this connection to work out. But this person is also having revelations concerning why there has been tension. So maybe there have been some arguments if you've been in contact lately or just something that you're not agreeing on. And then for others, I'm picking this up as being external interference, like other people having had persuaded or influenced this person when it comes to, to the connection. And now it's like that is also coming into their awareness and understanding how they have been affected by others. But I, I feel like that's just a specific message for some of you. I feel like for the most part, this is this person understanding what the issues were and also understanding what it is that needs to happen in order for there to be a rebirth, in order for there to be a new way of being here for this to work. Like I said, I feel like there's a lot of practical issues that need to be um, sorted. And so that's why there's a compromise that is needed. So a practical issue could be literally anything, okay? It could be anything as small as um, location and anything as big as there being a third party, which would need to be obviously resolved. Okay, that's a practical issue as well. So let's... Let's see what is coming up here. Let me see this Knight of Wands. Because I do feel like this is you here showing up as this Knight of Wands. We have the Hermit and we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so, okay, for some of you, the rules could definitely be reversed, all right? I feel like this Knight of Wands, this is um, 
you taking action here, you taking that physical action to make some sort of a change, right? To what I was talking about before, right? Because we got the Knight of Wands up here where there was this stalling. So I feel like this Knight of Wands down here now, you are moving in that direction. You're getting closer and closer to actually making a physical move, taking physical action. However, it's like you're doing it in a way where and this isn't a bad thing, but I feel like you're doing it in a way that's like behind the scenes, almost like just maybe taking your time. But mostly what I'm getting is that you're kind of doing this on your own. I feel like you're not being very open about it. And whatever this is, you are moving towards love. It's moving you towards love. All right. Taking this action, whatever action that is that you've been thinking about or that you feel like you're being guided towards, it's moving you towards love. And I feel like it, it comes from a deep sense of knowing from within. Okay, so follow that. That's your intuition talking. Let's see the Ace of Swords. Knight of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so this is this is your person here. Again, it's very similar energy. I feel like you're both moving in a very similar way. So there's action. But again, this action, even though it's fast, towards a certain direction, um, it's like there's also a lot of planning. So it's, again, it's that practical part coming in so it's like yeah there's a practical issue on your end and then here for this person I feel like they're thinking a lot about it and they want to talk about it they want to talk about all the practical little things that need to be resolved in order for there to be some kind of a new beginning here so I do because we have the knight of cups and then we also have the knight of swords down here for the future so it does feel like there might be some kind of a communication, even though I feel that each of you is kind of doing your own part separately. There might be some kind of a communication between the two of you, kind of more like to just touch base, even if it's not deliberately. Like you might just kind of find out about what each other is is doing. But I see the, the other person just really thinking as well, just like you are. Um, they're trying to sort things, organize things to make, to see if this is possible. So let's clarify the King of Swords. The World and the Six of Swords. Yeah, so a lot of determinism here, a lot of determinism to end a cycle, a previous cycle that was not working, that was creating conflict, um, that was just old baggage that maybe the both of you had outgrown, um, possibly different things for each of you, maybe just for the one of you, but there's definitely a cycle that is being completed here, okay? Something is ending. It could be on your end, it could be on their end, it could be something that is mutual between the two of you, but something is definitely ending, a decision is being made here. And this decision to end something, to close out a cycle, is going to mutually move this connection towards calmer waters. All right, um, so let me just clarify that Three of Pentacles. As the message. Okay, and we have the, the Nine of Swords and the High Priestess. Okay. So the thing is that, yes, compromise is needed, teamwork is needed. Whatever it is, though, whatever that compromise is, I feel like it might bring a bit of anxiety, a bit of stress, either to one of you or the both of you. But ultimately, what really is important here is intuition, okay? What you feel inside. Um, not allowing these, this overthinking, which I feel is mostly on your end, to get the best of you. Not worrying so much about what is this going to cause and what if this happens and what if that happens. 
you know, not being afraid of letting something go in order to gain something else, okay? Especially if that's what you feel guided towards. So, Aries. If this resonated, let's get your final message. And we have emotions are running high. <laughs> Yeah, no joke, up here. Um, like I said, you know, sometimes it's easy to just let our emotions get out of control, take over, and a lot of times, you know, we might think too much, too intensely about the future to the point where, you know, it's, it's not beneficial. You're not there yet, you know, no need to stress about something that hasn't happened yet. So, also this is a super moon, the super moon energy. All right, Aries, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.